Hello, everybody. Welcome back. As you can tell, we're not in game today. It, uh, the reason we're not in game is because on one of my Ultimate Decades videos, somebody had asked me about mods that I main mods that I use or whatever, and like how to download them and things. And I was like, okay, sure, I don't mind, you know, uploading a video, that, which is, you know, I'm over here rambling. Um, I don't mind uploading a video because why not? It's my first time somebody asking me. <laughs> to do something. So I was like, of course. So we're looking at mods and how to download them. This is for my newbies and people who haven't gotten into like mods and all that stuff. So first things first, I got my top eight, my favorite ones that is. Now you may not see me playing them in game because I'm just not focused on those at the moment, but like those are, these are my favorite ones at the moment. So the first one is MC Command Center, like that is a necessity if you want to be playing like with Sims 4 and stuff. You get on MC Command Center, you can like change their clothes. Like I've used an M I use MC Command Center so much. You're changing their clothes, you're doing, um, you can go straight into cast without having to do the roundabout way with the dresser or um, through the little, uh, I forgot what it was called, but yeah, in game. You can you use it through MC Command Center. There's a lot of things you could do with MC Command Center, you know. And that's like the main thing. Anytime you want to get mods, always get MC Command Center. So first things first, you're going to go to download MCC. Now, if you want to ha um, be able to fix their woohoo and stuff, you have to get MC woohoo while also getting this. The top one is usually the most recent upload and they usually keep it pretty up to date. I've never had it had them be like super far behind. They're like, they keep up with their stuff. So you get this, you press it right here. And it downloads immediately. And then you'd press MC Woohoo and that would download as well. And then when it downloads, hold on, let me switch it over. Okay, so when it downloads, what you're gonna do is um you do the you take this off and you drag it to your home page, okay? This would be a lot more basic. Hold on. Whenever you want to do your mod, you you can drag it to your home or you can do it on here. I usually drag it to my home page right here. And then you right click it and you can do extract all or something like that, you know? And once you extract it all, you know, you press extract. And this right here is all the mods right here. All of this right here. So when you put it in, when you want to put it in game, you go to your documents, electronic arts. Now, and then you go to Sims 4 and then your mods. Now, ignore mine. It's not really like, my mods aren't like organized. Like they're there, kind of sort of organized. But like, it's hard for me to find things in there. I, I'm too lazy to do all that stuff. But yeah. These right here, you you can put them inside of a file, but if you download it, a mod, and it's like a file like this, so instead of being being like the little paper thing, it'll show like a whole file, you can't put that inside of there, because then it's going to be too deep in, and you won't get it in game, so you have to have it to where this right here. So these, you can drag all these, put them inside one of these one of your folders or whatever, and then boom, you can, it'll work, it'll show up in game. Got it? Good. And that's both for MC Command Center and Woohoo. Anytime you download mods, it's always like that. That's how that's how it all works. Just so y'all know. Up next is Wonderful Whims. We love Wonderful Whims. You can do, you can do your you have periods, birth control, anything about woohoo, anything relationship wise. You do that. That's what this is is for. I like that. I usually go to this right here to download, and it'll show up right here. And you know, like I said. <coughs> It's periods, all that stuff, relationship-wise, all that back-end stuff that people don't usually pay attention to. It just adds, like, a little extra to the game because you're like, oh, shoot, she started her period. I need tampons or pads or birth control, all that stuff. This has that to put in your game. And it also has it in there where you download um, poses, you know? You can pose them in tournament stuff. I like that. That's useful for me. <laughs> At least for me. I don't know about y'all, but I like that. It helps with my, like, thumbnails and stuff. So you'd scroll all the way down. Oh, my gosh. I almost forgot. They have the um, STDs. I haven't I haven't had to deal with um, the uh, Sims STDs in a long time. So I completely forgot about it. But they do have the STDs in this game with um, this mod, just so y'all know. So if y'all going to be woohooing like crazy, you need your STDs and you got to get your little your little crab lice or whatever to and use it in the bath to get rid of it okay <laughs> and you're gonna scroll all the way down and right here is usually where not usually it, it's always right here for this one right here at least to download and you'll download this one you're gonna press download it'll download same way i showed y'all before that's how y'all put it in game okay okay 
Up next is Extreme Violence mod. This mod, although y'all haven't seen me play with it, I do like this mod. Only reason I haven't played with it is because I'm not doing anything toward that side of like, you know, in, in game or whatever, or my storylines. It might show up in my Ultimate Decades challenge, honestly, because, you know, they're pretty violent at that point. Right now, we're just, we're keeping the chill and calm. Nothing crazy just yet, but when I get to that point, I'll probably, I might bring it up. It depends on how I feel, but y'all know how I feel. But yeah, this one, there's there's all kinds of extreme violence. You know, you have the non-violent and, and the very violent, you know, where you're like knifing somebody type stuff that violent and then non-violent just beating somebody up without you know like if you're trying to go for like an abuse route extreme violence you do the non-violent one they won't you know like <laughs> yeah <laughs> they updated it so it should be working just fine in game you're just gonna come down here and which one is it i think it's this one i usually just click both of them but and then figure it out but just yeah click it it'll download Put it in game exactly how I showed y'all before. Easy. Up next is the base mental drugs. I like doing this. I don't know. I just I just like it. The smoking it makes it fun, especially when you're doing with like um teens and you want to like add drama. Like you know teens aren't supposed to be doing that. It adds a little extra oomph to the game. So when the parents caught them, you have a whole another storyline in your game where you're just like parents doing all this stuff and if they get caught again you can send your kids to rehab you know i usually go for download zip i have no idea about this part i always press this one literally i never press anything else i press this one and it's under right here and then i also have base mental gangs all of this is under base mental okay all this is under base mental where you can um start get start gangs you can start your own gang you can sell you know Sell drugs, all that stuff with base mental. You want to do all that? You're interested in all that? Base mental is your go-to mod. I promise you. It at, It's just so interesting. There's addiction, rehab, all that is inside of this game. So if y'all like that or y'all want to add that to your game, base mental is another good mod. Next is the relationships and pregnancy overhaul. This, important. Because, you know, I like teen pregnancy type stuff. So storylines at least it start started off and then you could like switch to something else as you're going through with the storyline that's how i did with my pearson legacy so this one is good you can you can do your teen pregnancy there's fertility issues um paternity testing you have the temporary separations and relationships cheating and infidelity you know you can do the surrogacy um this one right here important part of my um pearson legacy because she has multiple baby daddies, and we like to send the kids to their dads for the weekend. So doing this, you can send your kids. You can send their kids to their dads on the weekend if you're not with that partner at that moment. There's also this in um, miscarriages and um, pre pregnancy loss. You know, so if y'all don't like that, y'all can always like take that out. Out. You'd have to when you download it. When you download the mod, you can just you know remove it out before you put it in. So. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want y'all to put something in there that y'all don't like in game. So if you don't like certain things in the mod, just take it out. You know, just drag it out. Let's see, there's meat and mingle. I don't think y'all really need that anymore because they have that new um love struck thing. I don't know how good that is though because I haven't really used it honestly. I feel like <laughs> the love struck thing low key overlaps with this mod, but it's still a good mod. I promise you, it's still a good mod. You can choose the woohoo rolls, styles and preferences and all that stuff. All that's in here. Okay. This part right here where it says reactions, same like with like, if let's say your teen gets pregnant and the parents are just like, I want nothing to do with it. Keep me out of it. So if anybody's seen my Pearson Legacy when it first started, this right here, this mod, very important part of it. Because she got kicked out, you know, all that happened. This mod right here, I promise you. Really good mod. Up next, it's a Sugar Life mod or Sugar Baby. This one is really good. I have no idea how to say that name. But this this mod is really good. If you want to have the sugar babies and sugar daddies, you have to, like, buy it under the um, little preference thingy. Uh, under your, uh, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. That thing right there. You click there and your, oh, your rewards. There we go. It's under your rewards. Sugar life is important. Sugar life is important for all that. You can get your little sugar daddy, get your little money, 
you know, with the little woohoo or little couple kisses if you don't want to do the woohoos, you know? This right here. But this only if y'all, like, are interested in that. Y'all don't have to really get that because I know not a lot of people like that kind of stuff. Now, for those that like the ultimate decades and those kind of challenges or historical type challenges where there's, like, kings and queens, your, all, your first mod you should always get for that one is your royalty mod. Apparently, they recently added... Apparently, they've added grand balls. I didn't even realize. But your royalty mod... You, have, you could be a king, you could be a queen, peasants, they have all that in there. Because I know most of my um subscribers like the Ultimate Decades Challenge, so y'all y'all already know. Where you can put the lot tray for peasants and where you can charge them and stuff. This is the mod that I get all this from. Um, Where's it at? This mod also works well with rambunctious religions. So if you want to have religion in your game, that works with it. And then the Ye old Cookbook. That's how we make our foods inside of the um the Ultimate Decades. This book, this one right here. That right there is really important. You got to come down here and you can add the literacy. If you don't want to do like the reading practice, because that, 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 that skill takes forever to go up. Oh my gosh. But if you don't want to have your Sims practicing reading, because it's going to be throughout your whole game, unless you somehow figure out how to separate it. I haven't, I have, I'm not that advanced just yet. I know there's a way to separate it, but I'm not that advanced just yet. So... If you figure out how to separate it, that's something else. But if not, you add this, it's going to be in your whole game. So you're going to make need to make sure your kids are practicing how to read and stuff. They're going to glitch out a little bit, but that's how they get their skill. And then you download this one as well, because this is the actual royalty mod right here. So download it. It's the same exact way as I showed you before. There's literally no difference. At this point, y'all should know how to do it if you've tried to download anything. But this is a good mod as well. You can have your companions, you know? There's you can there's where you can fight for the throne and all that. We're not really on that side of everything, but like just so y'all know, it's in there. Just so y'all know. And then the Regency m romance. I got into Regency literally because no, I looked up if there was a mod for this because I was watching Bridgerton. And no, I'm not that far into it. I'm not the type that like watches a bunch of episodes back to back to back. I can finish a whole season at once when it comes to this kind of drama. It takes me forever. But I was watching Bridgerton and I was like, dang. I want that in my game. <laughs> and I found out there was actually a mod for it. So I was like, oh, well, let me download it. So this mod right here, and you can have your, um, it slipped my mind. I forgot. I haven't really went that deep into it because I'm playing with peasants. And the Regency mod is for like, you know, more up there. But the only thing that we we, we touched on inside our game for um Ultimate Decades is with the etiquette skill. Because, you know, um... The husband, I forgot his name for real. Their names be slipping my mind if I'm not, like, looking at it. And even when I'm in-game, I don't remember their names. But, yeah, the etiquette skill, that's what we mainly touched on. And Lady Whistledown be popping up, too, but, you know. <laughs> you know. They have two new aspirations, so you can do the Truly Accomplished. Or you can have the Reformed Rake. So, that's in there as well. There's three careers. You can join the military as an enlistee, an army officer, or a naval officer. Sims can be servants, and you can work way up to a housekeeper. Y'all have seen us doing that, because that's what we're doing right now. And then there's also the, aristoc the aristocracy, where you can join the House of Lords as a career, if you're, you know, an aristocrat. There's a new rake trait, so you'll have that in there. The etiquette skill, y'all know about that. There, then there's estates, okay? So estates. The other ones I didn't go too deep into because they're, like, pretty, like, straightforward. But this one is it's a little bit, you know, a little bit extra. You know, a little, a little extra. But there's also estates. An estate can be purchased from the mailbox. You can get that from the mailbox. And um, it would give your sim the gen the landed gentry trait. So when you get a estate, you're, you, you automatically get this trait right here. Oh, my gosh this trait right here and which will offer a daily income based on the lands that you leased out okay so the, you improve it and maintain your estate you get more money and you could choose an heir there's social classes so be careful with that they added in win, win, uh, widows and spinsters oh you know what a widow is and a spinster is a sim who's aged to an adult or elder and has not been married this is only for female sims though and this will make attempting romance more difficult. And spinsters can bemoan, bemoan spinsterhood or give spinsterly advice. <laughs> so that is in there. They have it in different languages. 
but it's straight up in English at first. So you don't have to, if you don't need it in another language, just get it, download it straight up. Downloaded this one right here. This is the actual mod. This is just a guide. This one right here. And yeah, as y'all can tell, this is my favorite mod. I'm not really that deep into it because I'm not focused on it at the moment. Because I'm working on a reading. But once I get to the point where they're reading, I'm going to start working on everything else. Yeah. Actually, I want, um, what I want to do, because I'm, I'm just chatting right now at this point. But what I want to do is, um, see, y'all, y'all, y'all looking at my little thing. <laughs> What I want to do is to uh wait until the kids get older because I'm going with the assumption that they're going to survive until they're teens. Yes, I am. And, you know, at that point, we're going to be looking to get them engaged romance wise. Like they can they can go around getting being in love all they want, but they're going to get engaged based off what their parents say. That's how I, that's how I'm doing it. And I'm pretty sure that's how they used to do it back in the day, too. Girls stay in the house. Boys are able to go outside. We're going to be a little bit more careful with our girls, but not as careful because we're peasants. We're not nobles. And girls, you know, I think they did like farm work and stuff like that. They, you know, they did all the, they did a lot of heavy work too. They weren't only indoors because, you know, we had the, uh, what's their face? The wife, the one who's been giving birth like crazy. So y'all know the names. I'm terrible at names, but the one who's been giving birth like crazy, she's the one who did all the housework and all the chores around the house. And then mother-in-law comes to help. But she mainly helps with the children. And then the men go out to work and bring money in so we can pay our bills. And when the kids get older, the boys are going to help us make money. And, you know, the boys are going to help us make money. The heir is going to stay inside the house. So we, I want to get something that's, like, whatever he, whatever skill he's going to do, I want it to be, like, worthwhile. And hopefully he survives long enough. Because if he doesn't, the second born is going to be the one who will be our heir. And if I'm making him doing something stupid, our life, second gen, is going to be bad, too. <laughs> it's not that bad right now, but it's going to be bad. But anyways, yeah. If y'all have any other questions or anything else y'all want me to make a video on, just put it in the comments. It didn't have to be in this video specifically. It can be any other videos. I try my best. I, I'm still a small YouTuber, so I, I can keep up with that kind of stuff, honestly. It's not like y'all ask for me to do a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.